Good afternoon, Tara. Hi, Tara. Hi. As a physicist yourself, what is your best hope for the performance of the LHB detector in the next uh, couple of years? What I hope we find is some more indication as to the, the nature of antimatter. The fact that we do exist comes down to the fact that when the universe was a minute old, there was a tiny difference in the amount of matter and antimatter present there. I mean, really, really tiny. No more than one part in a billion. And that's what we're trying to understand with LHCb. The effects of matter and antimatter are most different in the beauty quark system. It's our best laboratory for studying antimatter that we have. And that's, that's the vehicle, if you like, that's going to allow us to understand antimatter better. Three years ago, uh, we were hoping to get this result. Uh, and uh, thanks to LHC luminosity, I think we, we managed. LHCB observed a tiny, a very tiny difference in the fact that uh, B sub S, which is a meson which has a B quark and the S quark, and the anti B sub S, which is its corresponding antiparticle, behaves differently in decaying. This is a very important result. CP is violated also in the B sub S system, which is a new particle which uh, gathers with the club of uh, CP violating mesons. Now, CP violation is nothing more than a difference in the behaviour of matter and antimatter. And quite clearly, if we have half matter and antimatter to start with, and we now have matter today, they must behave differently in order to reach that state. We don't really understand this effect, but we want to understand it in particle physics because it is the reason why we're here today in the universe. It is the reason why the universe looks as it does to us. It's a very important unanswered question in physics and particle physics and astrophysics all over the place. So far, the difference, the amount of CP violation is not enough to explain what was the origin of the universe and the origin of this difference. But of course, as we continue to collect statistics, for sure we will continue to enlarge the number of particles that are, are showing CP violation effects.